Embrace the Strange to Dear Delusion is Rift to My Love. The title is a cross medium reference. My Love is a song that I wrote probably back in 2020 ish. I spoke about it before. This painting to me depicts the feeling of the lyrics a painful joy, not as contradictory as it sounds, pleasantly imperfect, maybe. It is most likely part of the Hyde series. Check my channel for the playlist series to be sure that I've identified it properly. Tearing or splitting apart one portion of the body jumps with joy and the red petals of its head are looking up and forward. The other portion is feeble and falling backwards as it splits from the hole while its petal head wilts and averts its gaze. It is light, acrobatic, yet visceral and intense. I love that about it, the balance of it. Conceptually, this was really pushing it for me with the two sides and different stages of motion and the lack of a head. I like headless pieces, I really do, but this to me, I don't know, it feels very incomplete, like I'm holding something back. I don't know, just a thought. Just a thought. I finished reading The Picture of Dorian Gray. I give it three out of five stars. I was eager to read it, but that feeling died away as I read it, and it really took me making a playlist to make the story tolerable. Since I read the queer, or I should call it the lesbian retelling, um, Creatures of Will and Temper by Molly Tangier, the story was vaguely familiar, the plot, you know, and the character dynamics. But there was so much sexism, and then the classism, and then the death, and the murder, and the artistic and philosophical ideas intermingled to justify it. It was sickening in a way, and no other book has been like that for me. When Sybil died, the way that they reacted, <laughs> oh my god, it was, just, it was just painful, like, oh, her being an actress was the pinnacle of her existence, you know, that was close as she was going to get to a real artful life, when, you know, it was just like, oh, Lord Henry was the catalyst for everything, it's just, oof. And the thing is, he never disguised that he was wicked, and it's just like, so much of it is just, oh my god. Anyway, the start of the book, I gave the song Immortal and Savages by Marina, embodying Dorian's fears, of course, young and beautiful, seems obvious, um, for Sybil to know him is to love him, the Amy Winehouse cover, Impossible Heart Falling Down in 30 Minute Love Affair by Paloma Faith, specifically because I think the line, um, sometimes it's better just to let them go because your illusion is more than what you can know, very perfect 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 and then you know over the top i heard an angel cry one way lover you'll soon discover it was best where you left it never forget it really perfect temptation joey badass is song but i like the cover by dermot kennedy better than the original um devil side by foxes and then obviously Starboy, the weekend you know because there's a whole chapter about decor and imported items very decadent i don't really mind it and also on another note Lord Henry to me is what Marius was to the Vampire Chronicles, and if you know, you know, um, modern terminology, I would say that Marius definitely did groom Armand, and the thing about it is that it made me realize, you know, certain laws may be reinforced, homophobic, um, I don't know how to describe it, like, notions, so, I mean, it's like, so men could be closer to other men in industries without it being, like, suspect, Oh, just my thoughts, just my thoughts, you know? Because like me, in other societies where there wasn't homophobia, you know, like the Edo period of Japan or, you know, ancient Greece, it was like a man loving a man wasn't wrong because like men were considered the ultimate thing. But in, you know, other society where it had to be suppressed, it's like, how can I be around other men without it being weird? <laughs> be an artist. But, you know, that's just a theory, but also Dorian Gray was written by Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde did go to prison for you know, being gay, so it's just like, hmm, it seems a bit grounded in reality, if you look at it that way. Just my thoughts, um, and if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, art goes on, and so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.